Switzerland is building a new 21.5 billion euro railway across the Alps, boosting transport efficiency and positively impacting the environment. Currently, 70% of all freight transport through the Alps is carried by truck. However, this is both energy inefficient and bad for the environment. As a result, since the 1980s, Switzerland has committed itself to a sustainable transport policy, with the focus of shifting transalpine freight traffic from road to rail. During the late 1980s and early 1990s, Switzerland demanded a hard limit on transalpine truck traffic to the European Economic Community. However, when refused, negotiations resumed and Switzerland instead proposed fees and taxes on road traffic and to build a new high-speed rail link through the Alps. Then, on September 27, 1992, Swiss voters approved this new rail link during a public referendum. And only two years later, the Alps Initiative, a public mandate prohibiting the construction of new freight roads and promoting rail development, passed with 52% of the public's vote, showing Switzerland's resolve to build a new Alpine railway. Switzerland's new railway link through the Alps will consist of two axes. The first is the Gotthard axis, between Zurich and Milan. It consists of three tunnels, the Zimmerberg base tunnel, the Gotthard base tunnel, and the Ceneri base tunnel, along with surface connections. The Zimmerberg base tunnel is a 9.4 km long, double-tracked railway tunnel between Zurich and Talville which bypasses a section of the Lake Zurich Left Bank Railway Line, enabling access to the city and improving transport efficiency. 55 kilometers to the south of this is the Gotthard Base Tunnel. It stretches 57.1 kilometers between Erstfeld and Bodio, making it 30 kilometers shorter than the previous high altitude route. At a depth of up to 2,300 meters, it is the deepest and longest railway tunnel in the world as was the original Gotthard Tunnel when it opened in 1882. It consists of two single-track tubes with a diameter between 8.8 .8 and 9.5 meters that are linked by cross passages every 325 meters. This allows it to support up to 260 freight trains and 65 passenger trains a day, compared to 180 freight trains for the previous line. 25 kilometers to the south of this is the final tunnel along the Gotthard axis, the Ceneri Base Tunnel. It stretches 15.4 kilometers between Camorino and Vezia at a depth of 850 meters, bypassing the former high altitude route through the Monte Ceneri Tunnel. With its two single track tubes, it will support up to 170 freight trains and 180 passenger trains a day. Together, these tunnels make the Gotthard Axis the first flat transalpine rail link, with a max elevation only 550 meters above sea level. This enables it to serve as the first high-speed alpine rail link, supporting trains up to 250 kilometers per hour. The second axis of Switzerland's new railway link is the Lucheberg Axis, which consists of one major project, the Lucheberg Base Tunnel. Stretching 34.6 kilometers between Frutigen and Reron, it will reach depths of up to 1,300 meters, bypassing the high-altitude route through the Lucheberg Rail Tunnel. With its two single-track tubes, it will support 80 freight trains and 50 passenger trains a day. Before we continue, let me introduce this video's sponsor, War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made. With more than 2,500 tank, plane, helicopter, and ship models from 10 major nations, ranging from 1920s armored cars to fighter jets. The gameplay is super fun, with realistic graphics, detailed vehicles, and authentic sound effects placing you at the helm of the most powerful war machines in history. And even better, the vehicles are highly customizable, with hundreds of camouflages, historical markings, and 3D decorators. To join a worldwide community of over 70 million players and play for free now on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation, click the link in the description. And for a limited time, new players and those who haven't played in six months will win a massive free bonus pack 
with the exclusive vehicle decorator Eagle of Valor, 100,000 silver lions, and seven days of premium account. Thank you, War Thunder, and now back to the video. In total, Switzerland's new railway link through the Alps is the largest construction project in its history, at a total cost of 24.5 billion euros. 13.1 billion of which is for the Gotthard base tunnel, 5.7 billion for the Lochoburg base tunnel, and 3.9 billion for the Chenari base tunnel. It is being managed by Alp Transit Gotthard AG, a subsidiary of Swiss Federal Railways, who is responsible for the Gotthard base tunnel and the Chenari base tunnel, as well as BLS Nets AG, a subsidiary of the Swiss railway company BLS AG, who is responsible for the Lochoburg base tunnel. Switzerland's new railway link will provide numerous benefits. First of all, its flatter routes and lower gradients result in energy savings, and its more spacious tunnels allow for larger trains. Furthermore, the lower gradients allow for high-speed trains, which, along with shorter routes, slash travel times. Zurich to Lugano is only 1 hour and 53 minutes, compared to 2 hours and 38 minutes before, and Zurich to Milan is only 2 hours and 17 minutes. Moreover, the project is less affected by severe weather conditions and utilizes modern technology, improving safety. Further out, the project also enables a highly efficient Rotterdam to Genoa transport link uniting Northern and Southern Europe and strengthening the EU's single market. Lastly, by preventing around 800,000 truck journeys through the Alps every year, the project will lower emissions, positively impacting the environment and helping protect the region's valued ecosystem. Since approved in 1992, Switzerland's new railway link has become reality. In 1997, construction commenced on the Zimmerberg base tunnel, and in April 2003, Phase 1 opened. On November 4, 1999, construction started on the Gotthard base tunnel, and in 2002, tunnel boring commenced. By 2010 and 2011, final breakthroughs of the tubes occurred, and by June 1, 2016, the record-breaking tunnel was inaugurated to the public. Meanwhile, at the Lochoburg base tunnel, main tube excavation began in 2000, and on December 7, 2007, the first track opened to the public. Lastly, at the Chenari base tunnel, construction began in 2006, excavation of the main tubes began in 2010, and final breakthroughs occurred in January 2016. Then, in December 2020, the tunnel was officially opened to the public, marking the full operational launch of Switzerland's new transport link. However, the project is not completely finished. On August 10, 2023, a freight train derailed in the Gotthard base tunnel, causing extensive damage to infrastructure, but zero injuries. It is planned to fully reopen on September 2, 2024. But most importantly, the Lochoburg base tunnel is incomplete. Due to cost overruns, funding for the tunnel was diverted, and as a result, only the first tube is fully operational. As for the other tube, 28 out of the 35 kilometers has been excavated, of which 14 has been fully equipped and is being used as a passing track for the first tube. However, this situation complicates operations and severely reduces line capacity. As a result, in early 2024, the Swiss government gave the green light to finish the second tube. Construction is planned to start in 2026 and be finished by 2034, enabling a continuous half-hourly service between Bern and Valais, and marking the full completion of Switzerland's new railway link through the Alps. Remember to play War Thunder for free and win a free premium bonus pack, click the link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, it would be amazing if you like and subscribe to Futurology for more videos very similar to this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.